Good evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday night. It is 10.01 p.m. California time, August 5th, 2025 is the date here. Latest activity on the globe shows a 3.1 earthquake. Uh, looks like it's hiding out there around the uh, Indonesia area. Also some movement here off the coast of Northern California. Got an earthquake coming into this area around, uh, let's see if Petrolia is picking that up. Doesn't look like it here. I got a Petrolia station here. Um, but this earthquake just offshore here coming in within the last ooh, 20 minutes or so out in the Gorda Plate. Nothing going on here far as any uh, further activity inland underneath Northern California. I guess we better double check the trimmer. So let's see what we have for Cascadia trimmer out there, which is, uh, wow, 332. Decent uptick again underneath the Washington area and a little bit down here across the south, uh, southern coast here of Oregon. Do have to watch that. Uh, not a whole lot of activity showing up here on the map. Up in the uh, Washington area, it looks like they've completely stopped reporting the earthquakes here. Uh, let me just double check and see what the Mount Rainier seismograph station looks like here. Uh, now I know this one here has been amplified or uh, toned down. This is the one I normally check. Let's see now. <laughs> Look what they did to it now. I think they're playing games. I don't know. That's a little weird. Yesterday or this morning, it was completely squashed. Now it's overblown, but this is not. That is. I don't think that's correct. Something something fishy is going on here with the seismograph stations. Let's see if they mess with this one. No, this one's still the same. Uh, a number of smaller quakes out there. Let me go back to previous UTC time. Uh, nothing big. There's a couple earthquakes here. Very well defined. This is outside interference. These events, I'm not for sure what those are. It almost looks like earthquake activity, but it's distant. Local events are going to be really spiky there like that. Uh, but there's not a whole lot going on there, far as I can tell from this graph. But hopefully they don't do something with this one as well. Otherwise... We won't have any graphs to look at. We'll just have to take their word for it that nothing's going on. Uh, one earthquake there outside of Olympia this morning, a little 2.2. Uh, somewhat quiet up there. Like I say, I, I don't know if all the quakes are being reported across the Pacific Northwest, though. Uh, also down way down south here in Southern California had a, a three-pointer as well. That uh, is going to be this 3.5 here. Right around the area of the um, Fontana region. This area had a four-pointer out here and a couple other earthquakes in the last 30 days. I guess we can double check the uh, all magnitudes here. About 43 earthquakes around Fontana. The latest, a 3.5 this evening, about four miles underneath this area. There was a 4.3 uh, back on the 31st of July and a handful of other quakes in there as well. So it just, it's part of the uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone, or just off of it. Uh, I think they call this the Fontana, oh man, I can't remember what they call it here. But uh, it occasionally sees swarms on it within this area. Uh, it's awfully close here to the s southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Now whether that uh, triggers it or not, I think it'd have to be a, a little bit bigger than that. but. Uh, Either way, Southern California lightened up out here a little bit. Uh, one just off the southern branch here. Got this little earthquake uh, from this afternoon. Again, that's just off of the plate boundary. Let's see if we've got any further swarming going on down here across the Brawley area. It looks like that came to a halt there about 9 o'clock this morning after about 20 earthquakes or so. Uh, fairly small in magnitude, although we did have a three-pointer. So that's technically uh, three three pointers out here so far a couple down south and uh, one offshore in northern california a little bit of clustering going on here across the uh creeping section there of the san andreas fault nothing big going on there for now but uh you know california is just it could be next here for earthquake activity we'll have to watch that one little earthquake showing up there on yellowstone a little 1.5 uh, let's see, Texas oil fields, nothing new. Got a cluster going on out there. And there's an earthquake in New York uh, this morning for a 2.7. Nothing new to report there for now. Uh, across the area of Puerto Rico, got a number of earthquakes out here, including that 5.7 this morning, super deep there. 
uh, associated with the Mariotos Trough, which is this subduction zone right here. Puerto Rico kind of sits up on it. This area can get some big earthquakes, so we do have to watch that. I don't recall the last time we've seen a, a big one out there. I'm talking above a 7 range. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to go back here and take a look at the historical data around this area of uh, Puerto Rico and the Mariotos Trough region here. See what we got. Not too many showing up here. Looks like uh, the last earthquake <coughs> across St. John's area further to the east along that subduction zone is uh, 7.5 back in 1974. So that tells me right there that we've had a lot of time building up out here on the Mariotos Trough uh, for some large activity. Look at this earthquake here back in 1615, a 7.5. So really no new historical data here. So things are building up across this area of the subduction zone. Uh, the 7.3, 1867, 1918, 7.1, 7 7.7 uh, there in 1943. But I believe, even though it's not showing up on here, uh, I believe maximum magnitude could be up around the 8 range for this area. Uh, so just got to watch out because so much time has passed out here. Got to look at the time period, right? And uh, a lot has passed. But that earthquake here today, that uh, 5.7 deep into the subduction zone there. Uh, just a reminder that those deeper earthquakes adding further strain up there across the, um, the subduction zone right here. All right, let's see what else we got around the globe here or the planet. Handful of earthquakes up in Alaska, nothing big. The Russia quakes here got uh, well, 15 earthquakes showing up, a number of fours, even a couple fives in there today. This is just, man, a huge amount of earthquake activity. Look how many earthquakes here. And this is just not 2.5 or 3 or even low grade fours. These are mostly 4.5 and above. Lots of earthquake activity previous to the 8.8 .8 and a lot of earthquake activity following the 8.8. .8. Uh, man, 746 earthquakes. A number of sixes in there as well. There's quite a bit, let me tell you. One uh, 7.4 there, that happened before, about 10 days before the 8.8. .8. So those were all four shocks, but uh, man, just a crazy amount of earthquake activity. Um, I'm not seeing any... Let's see here. Any migration going on southward along the uh, Curl Kamchatka? Most of the newer activity here around the Japan region got uh, a decent earthquake there. Five pointer uh, stirring up this afternoon. That is uh, fairly shallow at about six miles or so. One earthquake into the Nankai Trough here. That's another major subduction zone. See that uh, the trough zone? Capable of producing mega quakes. This is a fairly deep earthquake into that zone. Watch areas upstream. Uh, New Zealand. Let's see what we got going on. Did have a four pointer there. Uh, that was late last night, early this morning, I believe. Some older activity on the globe. Nothing new to report there for now. Just uh, gotta watch certain areas out here. Let me tell you, things are on the move. One earthquake there off the coast of Peru, a little 4.1 and a cluster going on southward, but that's very common. Um, Hawaii, whoa, what's going on out here? Got to be getting close to an eruption unless something altered down below here uh, as far as uh, the magma flow. These are relatively deep underneath this area, about 18, 19, 20 miles or so underneath this region. It's been a little while since we've seen this swarm there. They call it the Pahala Earthquake Swarm, and that's been occurring <clears throat> it's been occurring off and on there oh since uh i think they mentioned the 70s or the 80s <clears throat> 1970 1980 time period just kind of an ongoing swarm down there uh, across the deeper areas uh, underneath this region uh, let's take a look here at the uh, kilauea volcano see if we're into the eruption stage yet uh, i mean we should be getting awfully close here let's check uh the webcam up at the summit real quick Ooh, it's glowing. I would say it's uh, it's getting ready. Let's check out the inflation, deflation, inflation chart here. 
See if there's anything else going on. Ooh, look at that rapid rise going on after a little bit of stationary and even some deflation deflation events um, in the last couple days. So we're way up here. We should see that eruption at any minute. In fact, we'll check back on it here at the end of this update video. I think that's about ready to occur. That's at Kilauea Volcano on the big island of Hawaii. Uh, let's see if there's anything else major going on around the world. Like we got, still got earthquake activity off the coast of Russia. Newer movement here in Japan. Watch the Nankai Trough area. Uh, not so much going on over here across this area of the globe. Pretty quiet. All right, uh, let's check out space weather activity. We do have a uh, fairly massive coronal hole here, number 69, that's uh, just about ready to face us. Last time we had a massive coronal hole, it kind of uh, stirred up the earthquake activity. We'll see what happens here uh, with this being in view. As uh, far as any major flares go, there's that M flare early this morning. Uh, looks like we're still sizzling a little bit here with some C flare activity starting to you know, pop and sizzle here a little bit. That uh, is some signs here that uh, maybe getting ready to see another flare out here. Uh, we do have this region right here. This is the one that produced the M flare and numerous C flares recently. Uh, and also what looks like another active area back on the northeastern limb. I believe that's from that group of sunspots finally getting into the earth directed view. Uh, not uh, really impressed with that. Uh, but it does look like it's thrown off some sea flare activity. Our main area is going to be right here. This sunspot is, uh, you see all those little colors there indic indicating magnetic polarity. That uh, is a good sign if you want some flares popping. Looks like this area down here is starting to grow a little bit as well. Uh, so we got two main regions to watch right now, 4168 and uh, 4170 over here. It does look like there was a, one newer sunspot here. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, not doing much yet, but main ones we'll watch here. Center disk and over here across the southwestern limb of the sun. As uh, far as any major roar events in the forecast, right now I don't see any. Nothing up here on the list. Uh, beautiful moon out there this evening. I was fighting some mosquitoes to get a couple shots of the moon here in Northern California. I posted them there on my YouTube and also so social media accounts. Uh, go check it out if you didn't uh, get to see it. But it is beautiful up there tonight. 99% uh, chance for a C flare, M flare 40, X flare around 10% chance or so. Uh, let's take a look here at um, a potential hurricane status out here. We're going to go to the lower dynamics, check out the wind, and we'll put this into motion here. Watch the Atlantic out there. Got uh, some activity kind of stirring up there. And wow, look at that. That hurricane completely squashed and disappeared. Over the last couple model runs here, it did show some hurricane hitting Florida or maybe even forming further south and entering around the Gulf there and, and hitting Louisiana. But as of right now, it's, uh, well, still got one way down south, but that's even further out. So these things can change left and right. Tomorrow, it could go back to how it was um, <laughs> on previous runs, but um, nothing of any near-term activity as uh, far as the tropics go for now. As far as any uh, rainfall out here for the west coast, well, let's take a look. I don't think we're going to get any. Put this into motion. Huh, everywhere but California. Up in Washington, Oregon, they're getting a little rain system up there. Actually, some decent rain for this time of year. Quite a bit of moisture across the rest of the country. California, we're going to be cooking out here. It's supposed to be 107 or so uh, coming up in a couple days. So I am not looking forward to that, let me tell you. Not one bit. I am going to keep... Uh, that as a screenshot there. Um, so yeah, let's take a look here at the Kilauea Volcano real quick again, just see if it's popped up here into the eruption status. The USGS has an official YouTube page as well. Uh, that's going to be this link right here, Live Summit Cam. It takes, um, takes you guys to the YouTube channel. Um, but I like to check this, the visual. Uh, like I said, we're getting close here, I think. Looks like it uh, could pop here at any second. 
So, yeah, might make for a beautiful night show out there. All right, uh, let's see. Seismograph stations out here. Well, we got an earthquake there in Japan right now. Russia, let's see here. Looks like it was in Russia, another earthquake. So let me see what's going on here. USGS not picking up on anything yet, right? But that's definitely an earthquake because it showed up there on Japan as well. Doesn't look like anything big. Um, I'm thinking maybe a 5.5 five, 5 maybe. Somewhere around that range. Just looking at these graphs here. Uh, let's see if the EMSC has picked up on it yet. Well, there it is. It is a, oh, 5.8. All right. That's close. It was a little bit higher than I thought, but uh, this could get revised. Either way, uh, the largest quake so far today in that area. Things are still popping out there. That's for sure. 5.8. I'm going to take the USGS a little while to produce that, but... Uh, uh, anyway, we'll continue to watch that. Another earthquake over here around Puerto Rico. Watch that subduction zone here. Again, a lot of time has passed out here. So I'm sure that strain has been building. I don't recall the, the slip rate out there for this area, but i got to bring back up my maps here. Ever since my stream went down this morning, uh, I'm still a little suspicious how it went down, but um, got it back up and running. Hopefully nothing happens tonight with it, but uh, if it does, then I'll put it back up in the morning. Uh, but yeah, watch the subduction zone. And uh, have a good night out there, folks. We'll see you guys out here in the morning for the uh, Wednesday morning update. Have a good one. Stay safe out there.